Oh, hey, it's me, the Aborted Soul. I've got a little bit of a story time for y'all. I was doing some reading on evolution, and I thought that this was particularly useful. Um, this is from Richard Dawkins, The Blind Watchmaker. And it's uh, some good shit. It's about um, a piece of DNA called the H4, the histone H4 gene. This DNA text is 306 characters long. Um, in binary, you have a language with two, um, with an alphabet of two characters. In English, you have an alphabet of 26. Genetics, obviously, has an alphabet of four, and there are 306 characters, a series that are all, almost always the same, at least. We can't say that it occupies the same address in all species be because we can't meaningfully compare address labels across species. But we can say it is. Well, but what we can say is that there is a length of 306 characters in cows, which is virtually identical to a length of 306 characters in peas. Cows and peas differ from each other in only two characters out of these 306. We don't know exactly how long ago the common ancestor of cows and peas lived, but fossil evidence suggests that it was somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000 million years ago. Call it 1.5 billion. Over this unimaginably, for humans, long time, each of the two lineages that branched out from the remote ancestor has preserved 305 out of 306 characters, on average. It could be that one lineage has preserved all 306 of them, and the other has preserved 304. Letters carved on gravestones become unreadable in mere hundreds of years. In a way, the conservation of the histone H4 DNA document is even more impressive because, unlike tablets of stone, it is not the same physical structure that lasts and preserves the text. It is, re it is repeatedly being copied and recopied by the as the generations go by, like the Hebrew scriptures that were ritually copied by scribes every 80 years to forestall their wearing out. It is hard to estimate exactly how many times the histone H4 document has been recopied in the lineage leading to cows from the common ancestors with peas, but it would probably be as many as 20 billion times. It is hard to find a yardstick with which to compare the preservation of more than 99% of the information in 20 billion con uh, successive copies. We can try using a version of the game of Grandmother's Whispers. Imagine 20, uh, 20 billion typists sitting in a row. That line of typists is enough to circle around the Earth 500 times. They're all sitting next to each other. The first typist writes a page of a document and hands it to his neighbor. He copies it and hands the copy to the next one. He copies it again and hands it to the next, and so on. Eventually, the message reaches the end of the line, and we read it, or rather, our 12,000th great-grandchildren do, assuming that all of the typists have a speed typical of a, a good secretary. How faithful a rendering of the original message would it be? To answer this, we have to make some assumption about the accuracy of the typists. Let's twist the question around the other way. How good would each typist have to be in order to match the DNA's performance? The answer is almost too ludicrous to express. For what it is worth, every typist would have to hand to have an error rate of about one in one trillion. That is, he would have to be accurate enough to make only one single error in typing the Bible 250,000 times at a stretch. A good secretary in real life has an error rate of about one per page. This is about half a billion times the error rate of the histone H4 gene. A line of real life secretaries would degrade a text to 99% of its original letters by the 20th member of the line of 20 billion. By the original, by the 10,000th member of the line, less than 1% of the original text would survive. This point of near total degradation would be reached before 99.999 five percent of the typists have even seen it. This whole comparison has been a bit of a cheat, but in interesting and revealing respect. I gave the impression that we, w we are measuring in copying errors, but the histone H4 document hasn't been copied. It has been subjected to natural selection. Histone is virtually important for survival. It is used in the structural engineering of chromosomes. Maybe lots more mistakes in copying the histone H4 gene occurred, but the mutant organisms did not survive, or at least they did not reproduce. To make the comparison fair, we should have to assume 
that built into each typist chair is a gun wired up so that if he makes a mistake he is summarily shot his place being taken by a reserve typist squeamish readers may prefer to imagine a spring-loaded ejector seat gently cal catapulting miscreant typists out of the line but the gun gives a more realistic picture of natural selection just thought that was worth reading um it is 11:33 p.m. where i am i'm about to go to sleep but wherever you are on this planet, I hope you are um, doing well. I hope you're being peaceful, loving the people around you. And uh, story time's over. Peace out, fuck off, and have yourself a good night. Exiled in Japan is a solitary man. He makes videos. He's met the aborted 